Here is an older sewing machine that I no longer use that I partially took apart so that I could essentially have a belt sander to distress jeans. So what I had done is um, I cut this band strip, I don't know, it's about an inch and a half, and I just um, created a, a circle with Gorilla Tape so that it fit that uh, pretty snugly. And there's ridges here on here, so you want to go and cover all the way through and snug up right to that belt. And that will keep it frictioned. You're not putting your jeans up against it so hard that it would um, cause it to slip when it spins. Okay, so here's the pair of jeans that I hemmed. Um, and I, I will try to create some of the distress marks that the original hem had. So you want to go um, slowly because you can always increase the uh, amount of fabric that you're basically um, taking off. You want to be careful over um, like four four layer thick of fabric because it's very hard. It will create a ridge and pretty easy to actually blow a hole through that. So most of the jeans are distressed along here and along this ridge line. And some have these vertical um, lines as well. And um, But we're just going to do the horizontal lines. So first, to do the distress line above the stitching, I'm going to fold that over and create a sharp edge like that. This is probably 80 grit. So you get that line and then for the bottom. Also sometimes for designer jeans the actually the back bottom of the hem is really distressed. It's supposed to look like you've been stepping on your jeans quite a bit. So so let me just um, finish a little bit more of that and um, this is this is a uh, distress because the person wore them too much and actually stepped on them so <laughs> we'll use that as a guide. Okay, and then for the bottom, just run it just like that. And you get that nice look there. So it looks pretty good, it's kind of distressed. So if, uh, I guess we can experiment trying the, uh, the vertical seams. So I would say if you just pinch like this and we'll see what that does. You don't want to get that fabric too much because we don't want to actually break the thread. So that looks kind of dumb. I guess you'd have to just kind of um, pinch it by hand just for a more natural, irregular looking So that's starting to look look a bit more distressed. So you can continue to do that all the way around. Like I said, you start off a little bit and, and just keep adding however much you want. So if you want to actually um, blow, blow through some holes, um, we can try it here. So that goes all the way through. So you just kind of pick at that and every time you wash it, it will kind of um, 
fray a little bit more. And then you could do the same thing, you know, if you want to do some holes or distress marks up along the jeans. Um, you could get pretty creative. Like I said, you can just pinch a couple lines. And then um, maybe go the other way. And uh, yeah, now you can play tic-tac-toe on your jeans. So um, anyways, hope this was helpful. Like I said, I think this is 80, 120 is fine. I wouldn't go um, anything finer than that. And uh, hope this helped. And this is part of the other instructable for hemming jeans. And then I will show also how to do an original hem using a zipper foot.